Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can clone your voice in Suno AI. In order to do so, here we are at Suno.com, and as you can see, version 5 is out, and it is better than ever. 4.5 was great, 4 was great, 5 is just uh, that much better if you are new to Suno or if you're uh, coming back to Suno, check out version 5, it's really quite amazing. Now, how do you clone your voice? Well, what we want to do is we're going to go here to the left hand side in the menu, we're going to select create. And what we want to do actually is create a persona. So in order to do that, first we want to upload our audio. So if we click on that, you can see here that we have two options. We can either upload or we can record. So if you want to clone your voice, then what you can do is you can hit record and you can sing your song. And then from there, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a persona using your voice. So let me just go ahead and demonstrate here how this is going to work. So first off here, we're going to hit record and we're just going to record a little bit of a song here really quick. Only you, only you can hear yourself in your echo, echo chamber. Okay, so easy peasy, and we're going to save that now. We're going to save it to our library. It's currently uploading. So let's go ahead and allow that to finish. But once it's done, then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to take the song that was just uploaded and we're going to want to create a persona out of it. So here is that upload. And on the right hand side, let's see here. I think we want to go into our three little dots. We're going to, let's see, want to find our persona creating personas uh actually you know what i think what we want to do actually is come over to persona and we want to create a new persona there we go so we're going to do that and we're going to select a song so we're going to select the song that we just created. So you can see that's going to be listed here. Otherwise you can search for it. So we're going to click on that and we're going to choose a name. So in our case, let's just say Dave, we can add an avatar. If we want, we can prompt Suno to create an image. If we want, we can create a description if we want, and then we can hit save when we're done. So we'll just pretend we're hitting save there. I'm not going to save it because I have already created a persona. So this is my persona here. And what we can do is if we click on that, then that is going to bring our persona here. You could see that we have created that persona and this is I made from my voice and then from there we have styles that are attributed to that persona now you don't have to use the styles you can change this if you want but um, this is at the very least with the persona it's always going to default to whatever style it was that you created for that persona in the beginning now one thing I can tell you about personas and cloning your voice is that it's not going to to be a hundred percent it's not like it's going to sound exactly like you and um, you're going to have just a picture perfect uh, version recreation of your voice it doesn't quite work that way um, what it's going to do is it's going to create uh, somewhat of an approximation um, and it's close enough and then what you can do is you can re-roll that uh, persona anytime you want and you're always going to get a similar vocal quality but it's not going to sound exactly like you. So if you're a singer and you have a specific way of singing, then you're going to find that creating a persona is not going to do it one-to-one. -one. However, it does a pretty good job of recreating a uh, uh, the basic style of your voice so that any songs that you can create that you create after that if you want to add your own voice after the fact then at the very least it is 
taking your basic vocal clone and it is using that as the basis for the music that it makes there on out so that is essentially what you would have to do in order to clone your voice is to upload audio or record audio and then you're going to want to create a persona and once you've created a persona then you can just re-roll that anytime you want and that's uh, all there is to it if you head over to our discord and you're looking for some help with Suno, we do provide our Suno AI Music Mastery course. And also, if you want to, uh, if you want help creating your own music, then we can do that for you as well. We could show you how you can uh, create these songs for yourself. Um, if you are looking for that training, we provide that. Or if you're looking for us to do it for you, then we can do that as well. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe. And don't forget to set your notifications for more helpful tips. Take a look in the description. You'll find a link to our link tree there you'll find our socials and our top AI recommendations. Click on any of those links to get started. You'd be helping us out as well, and we'd greatly appreciate it. Finally, if you're looking for an online bank, check out Simply Financial. If you click on the referral link in the description in the link tree, you can get $50 to open up an account. And if you refer your friends and family, you can get $125 per referral. It's a great deal. It's a great bank. Simply Financial comes highly recommended. Check to make sure that it's available in your area.